Sports. Hi, I'm Aruna Govind Raju. I'm an open search specialist architect at AWS. And today in Analytics in 15, we will learn how to power your vector search with Amazon Open Search Service. Here's a quick look at the agenda that we have for you today. We will understand what a vector search is, move on to a quick introduction of Open Search, Open Search ML Momentum, releases over the past few years on around ML plugin. Open Search as a vector database or store. Reference architecture to build your vector search app. Challenges, future directions, and our value proposition. What is vector search? Vector search is an ability to find similar items or entities based on the numerical representation known as vectors. Vector search requires items, documents to be represented as high dimensional vectors in the vector space. Each dimension of the vector represents a particular feature or attribute of the item. By representing these items as numerical vectors, it becomes easier to calculate similarities using the mathematical formula such as the Euclidean distance and the cosine similarity. As you might note, smaller the distance, greater is the similarity and vice versa. The main goal of the vector search is to efficiently and effectively retrieve items that are similar or related to a given query item. Some common examples include product recommendation, image recognition, and fraud detection. A quick introduction to open search here. Open search comes in three flavors. The open source open search is a community driven open source full text search engine built on top of Apache Lucene. This aims to provide a scalable, reliable, and customizable search solutions. Amazon Open Search Service is a fully managed open search on AWS. The deployment is further simplified with the introduction of Amazon Open Search Serverless, which eases the cluster administrative task and provides a decoupled architecture that supports cost effective and fast on demand scaling. New features when introduced are first incorporated into the open source open search via a transparent roadmap and are then folded into the service and later into the serverless deployment. Open search and the service have been growing in momentum with various feature releases that supports machine learning. Started with building search service all the way back in 2012, open search has grown the capability ever since, focusing on not just ease of operation and automating administrative task with cloud first solution, but also building smart search through various ML plugins and native integration. That includes the KNN plugin for vector embedding and semantic search, anomaly detection for time series data, ML Commons plugin that delivers the model serving framework, the neural plugin that provides the model API, ML Commons extension to connect to any remote inference services. The model serving framework released with version 2.4 and the ML Commons and the Neural plugin released recently with OpenSearch version 2.5 provides the foundational platform for building machine learning driven solution. OpenSearch purpose built for search and analytics provides a near real time search experience for customers. OpenSearch is used in e-commerce platform for catalog search, search within documents related to product brochures, build recommendation engine to surface related or similar products as in people who search for this also search for that kind of search experience. Analytics drives a lot of adoption primarily from the need to scale, scan and search across tens of billions of real time streaming data. Customer leverage this for security monitoring, application performance and infrastructure monitoring, flowing in raw data set and enabling dashboards for monitoring and alerts. With the ML integration that we earlier saw, vector embedding and search help enable a range of functionality on top of open search. Conceptual and conversational search experience for e-commerce platforms such as semantic search, chatbots, and collaborative filtering for recommendation engines. Pattern recognition for automated fraud, anomaly detection, and natural language queries to gain insights into behavior and performance of complex enterprise systems. 
Here are the top five reasons as to why today we see open search can also be used as a vector database. Open search service allows you to build, store, search, manage, and scale vector embedding. This is accomplished using the native open search model API that is a part of the model serving framework we discussed earlier. How is this done? Raw data such as images, documents, audio files are converted to vector embedding using various transformer models deployed on the Amazon SageMaker. During the vector embedding, each word document in the raw data is represented by a dense vector with each dimension of the vector corresponding to a feature or attribute in or associated with the document. The vector captures the relationship between the word or the document based on the context and meaning. Of course, the embedding depends upon the kind of model that you would use such as word to vec clip or bird. Vector representations of the data are stored in open search in an indexing structure that, that is optimized for search. Open search utilizes algorithms such as FACE, HNSW to build index structure for fast search retrieval. Open search supports both KNN and ANN approximate nearest neighbor and pre-filters to scale for query volume. Here, open search as a database enables storage and retrieval of vectors using vector indices, allowing us to build ML-powered search and analytics app. Here's a quick look at the reference architecture. The flow here reinforces the architecture we saw earlier. Amazon SageMaker creates the vector embedding using various transformer model, which when integrated with the open search service, help build semantic search. Here's a quick example of vector search, semantic search using the open search service. Powering open search indices with vector embedding generated with text embedding models that capture semantic meaning, we can build powerful search features that return highly relevant results to end user queries. Here's one other example where we can leverage embedding models such as Clip to build visual search app. Users can now take a photograph and search for similar images without having to manually tag images. Use the KNN plugin to index billions of vectors to support recommendations at scale and build a personalized search experience. One of the recent popular asks from our customers has been to build chatbots. An interest to integrate with available AI generative pre-trained models to build conversational experience during search. But while building these apps, we have learned there, there are problems with falsified, hallucinated answers generated content from these AI models. This creates a negative search experience and a risk to losing trust with customers. To work around, we are leveraging the RAG or the Retrieval Augmented Generation workflow, storing vectors in open search, leveraging the service as the vector database or a knowledge base to store the core factual content. Now you can add ML models, embedding models, generative models, or AI models to provide a conversational experience based upon the factual data which is stored native to open search. All of this is possible today using open search as a vector database, leveraging the native KNN plugin for vector embedding and by stitching together various Amazon services. Then what is the challenge? Open search as a vector search provides an ability to manage and search vectors, yes. But these are not like traditional databases where you can just build the app and directly point or integrate with this feature. The rate of innovation is slow due to the plumbing work that needs to be done. Here's a quick look into some of the heavy lifting that we need to do ahead of time for vector search. First, we need to generate the vector embedding. Next, we need to hydrate our vectors, meaning ingest to open search service and integrate with the new or existing metadata index. Query by a vector that would require for us to convert any text query to vectors before sending to open search. And Build a microservice that would orchestrate integrations with downstream LLM for converting both content and query to vectors. This is the undifferentiated heavy lifting that we need to do today to implement vector search. So what's next? 
Hope you have understood today that the easy part is to store scale and search across vector, which is native to open search. This allows you to start building today some of the cool apps that we earlier discussed. One of the key focus area that you would hear in the coming month is the simplification of the overall plumbing activity, building integrations with services that would help generate the required vector embedding and integrate seamlessly with the open search service. So look out for game-changing announcements in the next few months. Here's a quick recap. Use open search for vector search to deliver relevant results through semantic search. Personalize through recommendations at scale. Leverage integrations with active embedding services. Power Gen AI application through RAG integrations. And build stable, scalable applications to handle tens of millions of vectors. Here are a few additional resources to help you get started with various flavors of open search. And some references and resources for workshops and blogs around vector search. Thank you for your interest in open search. Happy learning.